sisters and brothers, my good friend, a 10 year old child died a few months ago and her father was with her when she was dying. She was diagnosed with a serious illness. She could not survive very long. I am sure what would that father would have gone through when her only child died. I remember many people coming and talking about their grievances, about their sadness in life. Sometimes mother has to see her own child die in her arms. How will it feel for a mother to see her own child dying in her arms? I am sure we all know what would happen to the people around us who go through this reality every day. Their hearts will be ripped. Their hearts will be broken into pieces. They, have, they, they, they don't have emotions anymore, brothers and sisters. Is that your experience too? Is that my experience too? This is the time as we reflect on the reality of Jesus on the cross and towards Calvary. I think it's a time for us to reflect on the sufferings of Christ and the death of Christ. Does your heart, does my heart rip when I hear that Jesus is dragging that heavy cross towards the Calvary? Yes. Does my heart or does your heart rip when you hear that Jesus is going to die on that cross like a criminal, like, a, like who has committed the biggest error of the humanity? The same Jesus who did marvels in the lives of the people, who felt compassionate towards 5,000 people and he fed them. Let them not go home. They might fall on the street. Let us feed them. The same Jesus who turned water into wine because he felt for his mother. He felt for the crowd there in the, in the wedding at Cana. The same Jesus who had compassionate to, who was compassionate towards lepers and cured them. The same Jesus whose hands touched Mary Magdalene and saved her from the people who would like to kill her. Brothers and sisters, the same Jesus is helpless. Right now, he is going on to that Calvary, helpless. Nobody is there to help him. Where are his disciples? Brothers and sisters, everybody has given up on Jesus. Is that the reality that we are going through in our lives today? Brothers and sisters, we know from the scriptures that Jesus liberated. And Jesus came for the poor. Jesus came for the oppressed. Jesus came to liberate. Jesus came to bring salvation to the people who were suffering. Brothers and sisters, let us remember that Jesus came, came for you and for me to liberate, for, for, for liberate you and me. Same Jesus is dying on that cross. Same Jesus is a criminal at the moment. He is on that cross. A brutal, a painful death. A painful death. Yes, here we are in the society today. There are people who go through every day this thing in life. Every day people suffer. Every day people are being oppressed. Every day people are being crucified. Am I being crucified? Maybe yes. Maybe I am being crucified in the society by the people who like to dominate us. What is my feeling? Brothers and sisters, let us associate ourselves with the sufferings of Christ and let us not let down ourselves. Let us rise as Jesus rose from that heavy burden of the cross and lift up our cross and walk again. Cross is very significant for me and for you and for all the Christians and for all the humanity. Cross plays an important role. Cross which was a symbol of shame, symbol of despair becomes 
a symbol of triumph and symbol of hope for the humanity. We all know from the history, cross was a really a very, very bad thing to have because cross, the execution of the cross was given to the worst criminal of the society. But Jesus goes through this uh, painful, excruciating pain on that cross like a criminal with that silence, silence in his heart, silence in his mind and silence in his body. Brothers and sisters, were you there when Jesus was being crucified? When Jesus is being crucified around us today, are, are we going to be there? Am I looking around us how Jesus is being crucified? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, 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 oh. sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Sisters and brothers, let this cross become our triumph. Let this, become, let this cross become our victory. Let us look at this cross and be redeemed. Let us look at this cross and let us increase our faith in Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ died for me and for you. Let us not take this symbol of the cross and make it just an object to show off that I am a Christian. Let us really mean when I wear that crucifix around me, around my neck or wherever we have it. The one more aspect that I would like to mention is the long, prolonged silence of Jesus right throughout his suffering. He uttered a few words during his sufferings. What does that silence mean? Does that silence mean that Jesus did not have power? Does that silence mean that Jesus, that Jesus Christ was defeated? We know from the scriptures that we hear that Jesus could have called whole legion of heaven and destroyed who are going to be executing him. But Jesus doesn't. Jesus maintains that silence. Jesus goes through that process. Jesus goes through pain and suffering and eventually death. Mel Gibson, we all know the famous movie, Passion of the Christ, begins the movie with the famous uh, words from Isaiah. He was wounded for our transgressions by his stripes. We are healed. Sisters and brothers, that is why I think Jesus remained silent. When Pilate asked him, what is truth? Jesus remained silent. Jesus remained silent. When soldiers mocked and slapped Jesus, Jesus remained silent. When the soldiers gave him the Aesop and the vinegar, Jesus remained silent. Jesus remained silent because Jesus knew that he had to do his father's will. Therefore, Jesus Christ remained silent to do his father's will, a total surrender to his father, a total commitment to his father. Brothers and sisters, in my suffering, what do I do? Many times uh, I remain silent. Are you suffering today? Is your child not listening to you? Is your child not listening to you? Is your child going away from you? Is your husband not cooperating with you, not being with you? Brothers and sisters, we all have sufferings in our lives. Young people out there, are you suffering today as to what you, what you want to do? You don't know. You are confused. Suffering. Remain silent. As St. Ignatius says, don't make any decisions when you are confused or when you are in desolation. Remain calm. Remain silent. A day will come where 
we will have our resurrection we will have our light as jesus christ himself comes and tells us i am the resurrection i am the light brothers and sisters let us hope let us have that despite the prolonged silence let's have that hope that jesus christ is going to be our light our resurrection and our faith amen